Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Eightball Man, and I survived the 20,000 piece Bricklink order. As some of you guys may know from my previous videos, and also if you follow, if you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting a bunch of pictures, I'm sorry about that, uh, of this order. But I gotta tell you, this order has consumed my life for like the last five days. Uh, it's 20,000 pieces, 41 pounds of Lego. And it was also in 1,850 different lots, which means it was 1,850 different pieces of Lego. Uh, so it's really just mind-boggling. I mean, this is probably a once-in-a-lifetime order. I mean, I can't, I think possibly this is one of the largest BrickLink orders anybody's ever had by the amount of lots. I know companies out there, like these companies send out the boxes and, you know, do different things order more pieces than that but i don't think they ever order 1850 lots i can't imagine anybody would do that but anyway so i've been pulling that for literally like four or five days off and on and i did a time lapse and i told you guys in my last video that i would answer your all's questions so i figured we'll watch the time lapse so i'll answer all your all's questions during that and then i'll cut in the middle and kind of show you progress and then i'll talk to you guys at the end i'll be talking to you through the whole video uh, so again guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, make sure you stay and listen to all, so I can answer all your all's questions. Uh, so here we go, let's watch the time lapse. Alright guys, I'm just going to answer these questions in the order that uh, they come up here on my phone as I'm reading it. First off we have Brixar, the Lego Collector. He said, when you were picking orders, do you ever come across pieces you didn't remember you had? Uh, not really, you know, I haven't had my store that long. So I pretty much kind of have a good memory of everything that's in there. I know you've uh, sold pieces to people before and then realized you didn't didn't even know you had it and then took them out. I will say I do come across sometimes, you know, mistakes or, you know, there's pieces in there that shouldn't be. I, I do have that happen. And probably during this order, I probably had four or five mistakes like that or you know, one in particular. I remember this person bought six and left 20. And all I had was six. So I was like, wow, okay, that worked out really good. And uh, so I went in and deleted the other 20. And, you know, maybe that other 20 is in the wrong drawer. And, like, one day later when I'm pulling another order, I'll come across those. So stuff like that. And a lot of times I will maybe hit the wrong number whenever I enter pieces to put away. Uh, a lot of times I get, you know, if it's 287, I'll put 278, stuff like that. I'll have to search around where it should be next up we have mardi gras man two three he said why did you open a bricklink store question mark laugh out loud uh if that's funny because if you guys remember i made a video one time saying i never opened a bricklink store but you know i was collecting lego and uh, even on youtube for probably a year before i ever uh ordered from bricklink so i think i was kind of scared of how bricklink worked and, you know, when the first time you get on BrickLink and you're buying, it is kind of overwhelming. But once you get the hang of it, it's not bad. And I think it was just one day I was at a Walmart and I found some uh, Lego sets on sale. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy them, take out the pieces I need, and try to sell the rest. And it really is a good way to get pieces you need for yourself and uh, sell the rest. You know, I mean, we don't all need every piece in a set when you're trying to build something. Next up... Brendan Wong said, how many pieces was your second largest order? Which is funny because this order obviously is the largest, but the initial order that uh, this person placed here was like 17,800 pieces. That was my first. Then he added to it and made it 20,000. That addition was the largest order I ever had. So that was the second largest. But prior to this crazy large order, uh, Money wise, I had one like a week and a half ago for like 250. Uh, it wasn't a lot of pieces, it was a lot of uh, base plates. And then uh, here I'm just talking to you guys about, I'm about midway through here picking. I'm kind of showing you how I'm sorting it here. And then uh, <laughs> I obviously had to start moving all this to the other side of the man cave because I didn't have room to walk over here. This is about half of the order so far. Okay, here we have Zamer Bricks asks, Lego is expensive. Everyone knows that. So my question is, how do you come up 
with the cash to stock your store, build your mocks in your city to the sky, and still afford everyday life bills? Did you have to save a huge amount of money slash bricks before opening your store? Do you only spend the money you make from your store on bricks you use to build your city and stock your store? I'm in a con constant argument with my wife over spending money on Lego and I need to find a way to make money back so I can afford new bricks and sets. Uh, let us into the life of Emery. Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat. I mean, I, me and my wife have some nice conversations about my money spending habits with Lego. I'm not going to lie. And uh, my wife actually makes good money, and we try to live simple. You know, we uh, maybe don't buy the most expensive car you can get or whatever it may be, not eat out so much, you know. So, you know, uh, it, it is expensive. And, you know, selling Lego in the Brickling store helps, but I spend way more money than I make off the Brickling store or off of YouTube. But all the money coming in definitely helps keep the money going back out to buy more Lego. Let's see here. Rebel Builder. Is that the biggest order you've ever had? Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. The, the gentleman who actually bought this asked what my favorite piece is. He asked that on Instagram. And really, I'd say my favorite piece would be like a... Uh, maybe like a slope curved. You know, I use a lot of those on my car. And uh, that's kind of the stuff that I like. Here, we're going to get back to time lapse here in a second. I've been rambling on about midway in this order. I basically have this wall left to do here. I'm showing you right now. So here we go, back to the time lapse. And he also has the change from whenever I was a kid. And actually, you know, I never collected Lego as a kid. I just got into it as an adult. So I never had any dark ages and hopefully never do. Uh, Jump for Life asks, how big is your Lego room? And what do you do for extra space when you buy Lego? What things do you look for? And thanks for, and look forward to the video. Okay, my Lego room, the side with the Lego City is probably like a 10 by 20. And the other side is like a 10 by 8 or something like that. It's, it's just a shed outside my house. It's not real big. You guys can probably hear a train going by right now. I hear it coming into town. And then the other, the B question here on that was, what do you do for extra space? Well, I just have Lego everywhere underneath the table. I do my large part outs in the house, on the table. I don't keep a lot of Lego in the house uh, just because my wife would probably not really want me bringing this into the home. But once the kids are out, I'm, I'm, I'll probably move the store into the house as well. I was kind of thinking. Barry Francis asks, do you know why he chose your store for this order? Well, he said he just was watching videos on YouTube, probably heard me talk about my Brooklink store, got an account, came to my store and cleaned me out, which is uh, awesome. Uh, was it just because you had the pieces he wanted and the best price, or was it because he watched your YouTube videos? So I guess I answered that. And I will say, I think I have really good prices too. I always go at the last six months average, and I will say a lot of really large Brooklink stores I've noticed it seems to be more expensive. I don't know if that's just because they haven't, it's harder to adjust your prices when you get that big or what, but uh, he just basically came to me because of YouTube. Will Reigns, how much did it cost? Over 2K US dollars, question mark. I'm not gonna say how much it costs, but you can pretty much use uh, your judgment and you're probably about right, whatever you're thinking there. Uh, Bobby Drew, I want to make custom builds. How do you plan on making them look good? Well, you know, I look at the internet, I look at books, I look everywhere to try to find different techniques, and then I just try to get the right pieces to build them. You know, it comes down a lot of times to having the right pieces. And I think that's what this gentleman here is buying. He's, he's really getting all these pieces so that he has the right pieces for what he wants to build. What is the biggest thing you have ever made out of Lego uh, please answer in the next video. Well, I'd have to say Sig Tower. That's you know, the biggest thing I've ever made. Celsi Bricks. I would like to know how much was the order and the shipping. I'll tell you the shipping cost over $100. Uh, There's 41 pounds, two different boxes, and I had to insure it just so that in case it got lost, I didn't have to come up with the money to pay this gentleman back. So 
it was over a hundred dollars to ship so it was pretty expensive Rick Ace asked me how do I do a live stream you know you're asking the wrong person I've never done a live stream one, so once I get a camera for my laptop I can probably do one I can't do it with my iPad I tried the other day it just can't get on uh, bricks to blocks whoa that's so much sorry for not commenting earlier I was on a hiatus for four days okay well welcome back thanks for the comment are you planning on changing up your city DJ cowfish yeah I, I want to I'm, I'm kind of ready to change up the city I just need more room sounds like somebody's getting on their truck it's probably school's getting out Building Step Production. What is your favorite licensed Lego set? Ah, uh, I don't know. I can't really say. I love the modular buildings. I also do like, you know, I like the Back to the Future license. I just don't like the car that they gave us with that idea set. Ryan Crims. How can I make a good brick link store? Uh, you know, you gotta have patience. When you open a store, you're not gonna get orders like this. You're gonna sit there just wanting orders and you just gotta be slow you know uh, add pieces whenever you can don't rush it uh, Lawrence Martin I have a question for your time lapse video how about a new update of something setting up a city for the first time so he's asking about you know what you should do said so I talked about this prior you know a lot of times just keep in mind what space you have and your budget I mean we all want everything but unfortunately we just can't have everything Hayden, are you a fan of Lego Technic? I am a fan of Lego Technic. I've built some, the Volvo, the race car, the 24-hour race car, and I love it. I mean, it's challenging in a whole different way. It's just expensive and large. Those are two things I don't have room for. I don't have money for. I don't have room. Uh, and that's it. And I'll put some pictures here on the screen because the time lapse obviously ran out. I went over with my talking. But again, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for this order. If you need anything from my BrickLink store, I'll put a link in the description of this video. I also sell on eBay. You can buy Lego from me there too. I'll put a link to that. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up. See you in the next video. Bye.